Hello, friends. Hello and good afternoon. I'm here to spook you out a little bit. I am joining the uh, Southern Crush at Home Fall Craftathon, and um, I'm going to be part of it today. And <laughs> I'm a little bit excited about it. I think it's gonna be uh, fun. And I thought for my section of this uh, little craft-a-thon, I would take things to a little spooky level. And so I'm, uh, I'm dressed for the occasion here with my little hat. I have um, dressed up the background here for you all. You might wanna screenshot that and zoom in later. I want you to see um, everything up close. If I have time when it's over, I'll show you. Hello, hello, thank you for jumping on. And let's get started. So in thinking about this um, spooky background of mine, um, a friend of mine on Instagram, um, her page is called Rock Rose Home. Hi, Patricia. Um, she did a spooky, but it was so, it was such a pretty spooky. And so I had a whole year to think about it. I've been making some bottles for my decor. Um, hi, Donna. And so I'm going to drop you down. Um, Hi, Shelly. Okay, so I'm not going to read comments because I don't want to lose out on time. But typically, I make... Let me, oh, I never know where to put you. Typically, I make pretty bottles using vintage things because my page is called Tammy Loves Vintage. So I use really interesting tops. Um, this one is an old doorknob. Um, all of these are on my website uh, at TammyLovesVintage.com. This one is the top of a, of a trumpet uh, piece, and we just added buttons. So typically, I do pretty bottles. This one just has lace, but I thought I would try some spooky bottles. So I think that they're going to turn out really cute. Um, I've made a few, so let's see what happens. I just saw Terry Reno go by. There's my mom. Hello. Okay, let me get back to work. So let me put you down here, you guys, and let me show you, first of all, what I'm using is um, some stickers that I found on Etsy. So type in um, fall stickers or spooky stickers, I think might be what I put in. And then I had some poison tags, um, just whatever you can find. Oh yes, and what, oh shoot, I meant to flip it. I meant to flip my phone so you guys will be able to read everything. So let me flip you here real quick. I meant to have that done, I'm sorry. And I was going to ask you, to do that if you wouldn't mind um it would be awesome my hat keeps wanting to fall off <laughs> you can't see it anyway so um so the first thing i did was i chose some bottles when i was out antique shopping i don't really have much that i can link for you guys um whoops i forgot to turn the comments back on uh, so i forgot to um or I didn't have any links really because all of this is antique. These bottles have a gray cast to them, which I thought they kind of looked a little smoky. Um, let's see, I paid 50 cents a piece for them. So that was a good deal. Uh, usually I won't go over a couple of dollars unless it's just the perfect bottle for me, you know, the perfect thing that I need. Uh, so, okay, let's get, so these stickers, this is the worst part is trying, oh, there we go, is trying to get the sticker backing off. So let's start with that. So if you don't have um, access to stickers, maybe what you could do is look online and copy and paste, print, you know, print and then Mod Podge them to your bottles. Um, some of the bottles I covered with old music pages and old book pages and I'll try and show, oh, thank you for sprinkling. I saw the word sprinkled and I see that uh, shared word, which we're not supposed to say, <laughs> but I just said it. Oh shoot. I hope that doesn't hurt my algorithm. But anyway, this bottle says chloroform and in it, so the contents also are really important. Like in some of my bottles, I was using mustard seeds. Um, I've used, and I'll try and show you at the end. I've used, um, uh, what else did I use? Um, large pearl tapioca was really cool. Uh, some baking soda. Now this time I'm going to put these feathers in that I found at the beach on Kelly's Island. They were just tiny little feathers and I thought, well, any witch's brew of course requires some feathers, right? I mean, I haven't made any lately. Ha ha, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I think that it is a requirement if I recall the old movies that I've watched. Uh, with the witch's brews. I'm trying to think of whatever that was. It was so funny. It was a funny one. It was so cute. I can't think of it now. But anyway, my bright idea was to put some feathers in here and I sure hope they go in okay. And I hope this is not a stupid idea. Um, but I've got other good ones to show you. So whatever you want to put in your bottle, I know that feathers are not chloroform, but I do not have a, um, I do not have a, uh, 
you know, a way to make like my own stickers really, especially that look, have that look to them. So I thought that would be cool. And then I'm just going to hot glue. I'm going to stick it on here so that I'm sure uh, it doesn't go out the edge. And then this, I found this old, um, I think they're curtain finials. Um, I've got all different ones. So I have this old, like a curtain finial is what I'm, what I'm sticking on here now. And then I'm just going to wipe the glue off. I want to make sure that it's sitting and it's not sitting super straight. Okay, there we go. So that, oh yeah, it, look, it looks good already. Oh, my hat's falling off. <laughs> it looks good already. So then the next bottle, I'm gonna put my stickers on first so that I don't spill it. The next bottle I chose from the stack of stickers and things that I got from Etsy. So you guys go to Etsy again and look for these stickers. Um, I got them quite a while ago. I don't know if they sell out. Um, this time of year, I'm not really, I'm not really sure. This is, this is a new thing for me, okay? So we're gonna put our sticker here across the bottom of this one, and this one says corrosive sublimate. Cor corrosive sublimate, and whatever that is. And then I'm going to peel the back off. So I spent some time looking, ah, these, this is the worst part is getting the backs off of these. So I spent some time at the grocery in the spice section looking for something that might um, work because, uh, like I said, the pearl tapioca was great, the baking soda was great, um, some of the bottles I just covered with book, oh, come on, I should have done this ahead of time, book pages, um, uh, but it's the insides that's good. So I found this coriander seeds jar. I really didn't need anything that big, but it only came that big. I have no idea what to do with coriander. So I've got to have a ton of it. So hopefully we can figure something out to do with the rest of it. Um, okay, maybe it goes in a soup. I'm not really sure what you do with it, but I am using it in my bottle to look like a corrosive sublimate. <laughs> if I don't know what it is, maybe you guys don't either. So I need to make sure that this is right side up. And I thought I would just kind of put that on at an angle to catch your eye, right? Like, where are you? There, right like that. Okay, and then if I don't spill this coriander all over, let's see, oh, let's just do this. It's gonna be a lot faster. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. Let's fill this bottle up with this. I hope I have enough time at the end to show you all some of the bottles. If not, jump over to my page. I'm gonna make a cute, I just finished this backdrop this morning, so I'm gonna make a, like a little video thing and show it to you all, so that should be good. So um, maybe if you wouldn't mind following me over there, or at least, you know, checking it out. It's Tammy Loves Vintage, and it's spelled T-A-M-I. Um, you could see how, see some of the other options and how I decorated my shelves back here behind me. Uh, okay, so this is the bones of your bottle. Okay, right there. And I I think that there, isn't that, I just think that's so cool. Eventually, as I keep going, I'm going to have like a whole, like a witch's spice rack of different things. And I think that's going to be a super cute, um, a super cute idea. So the next thing I'm going to do, I had these tags. I was looking through my, um, like my antique little treasures and things and let's see what this one I didn't I didn't really read them I just thought this one says for the uh, prompt return of these keys if lost one dollar reward drop in any letter box I paid three dollars for it and it's from Lima Ohio it says so it just kind of had a creepy vibe looking to me like you know I, I don't know it just kind of did and then this looks like just an old coin um, yeah 25 it says 25 I don't know what the coin is but it just kind of had that old kind of almost like a religious sort of um, looking thing to it. So I thought I would just tag that on there. See how it just adds every little thing you do just brings it up more and more. And then I kind of want to cover the gap um, where I stopped the liquid or the, um, the little coriander. And I want to cover where this... Um, bottle top attaches just for any glue residue that's out there or whatever um okay so i did that and then let's bring this other string over here what i'm using this this um this 
uh, tie that I'm using is a muslin shred. Um, I take, you can go buy muslin by the yard or half yard or whatever uh, at the fabric store and it comes in white or ecru. Uh, it comes in different thicknesses and different, um, you know, levels of good, of uh, quality, I guess. So a lot of people use it for curtain lining, which if you do, don't buy the cheapest because it'll sag, uh, just FYI. Um, but anyway, I use it. I love to rip it and make it have stringy, fuzzy edges like we have right here. Um, so there's this element added. See how it's spooky, but not spooky? Like it's spooky, but it's happy spooky. <laughs> That's what I'm going for, happy spooky. Okay, so let's tie this long one. I thought this long one would look better on here. I might have to take that price tag off of that, but I didn't yet. I will. Okay, let's see. I got way too long of a string, but I didn't want to run it short. Okay, let's see here. Where are you? There you go. You're going to be okay. Yep. And then let's wrap and wrap. And... <laughs> We'll do a little bit more wrapping here. I can't see what you guys are seeing, so I'm just kind of going by the back. Uh, I'm gonna go up around the edge of that bottle top. I don't, I'm not even gonna go up over top of it. And then there's a little spot that I missed. So let's bring it around here. Let's tie it. Let me, I'm gonna turn it around here just to tie you guys. Just I'm just tying it like I'm tying your tennis shoe, okay? Just a little normal bow and then, um, Okay, I'll pull it tight. And then I've, it's kind of big to me, so I pull it down to make it smaller, and then I tighten it again, pull it a little bit smaller yet, and that should get it right where I want it. Tighten it again. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut my tails. Um, okay, like that. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do, oh my hat. <laughs> I, have, I have my witch's hat on, see? And I'm struggling to keep my, <laughs> my witch's hat on <laughs> so okay let's keep going here <laughs> I'm trying to get into the spookiness of it all okay so we have this much now here comes like to me the best elements of all so I'm just I've got I've got a couple pieces of cheesecloth when you buy cheesecloth just like the muslin you can get white but you can also put it in um in tea I do like to steep tea and then I put it in the tea and so, and I really like the way, as I've dried this, I must have wrung it out. Oh, there's a little feather. I must have wrung it out and kind of left it, you know, like that. And I kind of, I kind of like that look. So I'm thinking here, I'm trying to think of how to do this, but I, yeah, I'm, I can't do that. So I'm, I've got way too much. I see that. Let's cut this down. I'm just whacking, you guys. I have no idea what I'm getting, where I'm going. Um, I do know that I want to make it look tattered. So look, here's here's the good, here's the tattered. All you do is just kind of pull it, stretch it, rip on it, play with it, dry, you know, like that. I'm using my fingernails to get it. To my hat. I'm taking my hat off <laughs> just for a minute. Even a good witch has to take her hat off every once in a while, right? Okay, so <laughs> so now I'm going to just start tacking this um I, and you know when i first started making these bottles i was really uh, like i didn't i was really being careful with this cheesecloth and now i've i the more that i've made i'm like the more cheesecloth the better so i'm not being as uh not scared with it but not as um uh not afraid to use it. Like, see how that just kind of makes a hole. It might be just a little bit too big, but let me, um, I just think it adds more drama and, and it makes it even more interesting beyond the bottle, if that makes any sense. Okay, so there's that. Um, I feel like it's still not there. Let me give it a really good rip. There we go. Now we're getting some good texture in there and some creepiness. Okay, so we're gonna leave that one like it is. And I have one more step here that I wanna show you guys. Um, so let's let's stick to, here, I'll just use this other piece of this one because this bottle's a lot smaller. And then I kind of think I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Let me 
Let me pull on it here. Maybe I need to do um, this one maybe on the other side just to be a little bit different. So let's give it just something to attach the top to. Probably shouldn't have made two of these, but I got a little confident in my <laughs> in my crafting abilities this morning. But now let's just make two because they'll be different. Even though they're the same, they'll be different. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut this just a wee bit shorter here. I want it all tattered at the end like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a candle. I think in the, in the products um, that I, that I listed that you guys might want, I think I listed beeswax and with a melter, with a warmer, which is how I did my other ones. But I don't think, oh, I don't think that we need to go to all of that effort. I think this candle waxing, which I did um, at the end, even though I used the beeswax, worked out just great. So I think we're just gonna do that. Oh shoot, I wish I would have brought a button or two, maybe a couple of uh, buttons right there just to explain that gather, but, but I don't have any, I need one right there and right there. I don't think I have any buttons in here with me. Imagine that, I do use buttons on everything. Okay, so we'll just go without, but just know I'm probably gonna tack a button um, right there where they, where it gathered, right here, right here. I think I'm going to add a button and right here. I think I'm going to add a button. Okay. So let's get on with the wax melting. So I didn't know this, but they make these in a torch. So instead of like, see how it, it's like a, it's like a torch. Okay. Where as opposed to the regular ones are more like a candle. Okay, so the torch is just a little bit hotter, a little bit uh, faster. So let me put down a board here so I can melt wax all over it and not get it on my work surface. So let's get in here and let's melt some wax. We're gonna have this wax drip all over our bottles. Now, another great tip is that you guys can do this on your candles at home as well. And you can make your candles look, I can't, I can't see what you guys, whoops, got my cheesecloth. <laughs> I can't see what you guys are seeing, so I can, um, I need you guys to see it, not me. Um, kind of like that burnt cheesecloth, but I, I really would have to have a, um, something to, um, blow it out with. Okay, so there's my glue gun stand. Let me see if I can lean it here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's drop a little bit of wax here and I want it on the bottle itself. Okay, ooh, that's good. Okay, I got some on the jewel. Okay, so let's, I want a little bit more on the top even, I think. I want that top really waxy. I just think that gives it such a cool look. So let me show you, as it's drying, it's turning white. So you see how you get that, that wax just makes it, look at me shaking, I'm nervous. I shouldn't be nervous, my gosh. I do this stuff all the time. Um, okay, so, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so let's do it back here too. We just have a couple minutes left. Whoops, whoop. <laughs> Oh, it's I'm at a bad angle here. Let's see. Let me try this again. Okay. It's not that it's hard to do. It's just that you, you know, I'm trying to hurry. So there we go. We're dripping our wax down the bottle. All right. So let's, I don't know. Let's see. You know what? Instead of doing this other one, it's going to be the same way. Um, I'll do it a little bit. Um, I really wanted to show you some of the other ones and how they turned out. I just don't want to um, run out of time here. So I'm just running this wax here on the top. We'll get it on the cheesecloth even. Um, running it down the bottle. That's the hard part, holding it like it is. Okay, and then I'll do a little bit here in the back. Uh, come on, wax. Okay. And then let me lean it back here and I'll try to hit the bottle. Okay. So there you go. That kind of gives you an idea. So let me put you up here 
<laughs> okay, hello, friends. <laughs> yes, this is the crazy lady that is um, trying to scare you all today. Let me get my hat back on. There, okay. And now I have a couple more ingredients for my witch's brew. There you go. There you go. So I have about a minute. Let me, thank you, thank you guys. Um, let me, oh, see if I can get you, I'm sorry. Let's see, I was seeing if I could lift you up out of here. I'm gonna bring you over here really close so that you all can see some of the other bottles that I've made. So there you are. There's some bottles that I've made, okay? You might wanna screenshot, if you guys have a second, just screenshot. And then there's another one. And see, I added tool to that one and see the old book pages in the background. And then that's an actual medicine bottle right there. If, if you can see it, I can't, yeah. Okay, and then down here is a little poison bottle. Okay, you can screenshot that. Oh, and then there's another one in there with the baking soda in it. So, oh yeah, I forgot to show you that. Here's the one with the mustard seeds. Where are you? There you are. There's mustard seeds in that one. And then there's the large tapioca in that one up there. Uh, so there you all go. That is our um, projects. Most of these projects we do in, oh, I put my hat on backwards. <laughs> Most of these projects we do, I'm not a very good witch. <laughs> Most of these projects we do in my little uh, paid group is $15 a month. It's called Tammy's Making. And um, am I not the scariest witch you've ever seen? <laughs> okay, where am I? Okay, you guys, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this. Woohoo! I hope you enjoyed this hocus pocus moment. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the fall craft a thon. And yep, it's time for me to go. Check me out at Tammy Loves Vintage. I would love to see you over there. Bye bye!